everyone, my name is Claire Curry. I'm a science librarian here at the University of Oklahoma. Today, in video 27 of Options for Remote STEM Research, we're going to talk about accessing data via APIs. First, what is an API? API stands for Application Programming Interface. It is a translator between two computers. In this case, one computer is yours in your code, and the other computer is an external computer, in this case, an external computer containing data that you need. To use an API, you want to look for the developer documentation on the website where you want the data. There are several kinds of API, so knowing the details of the website you are interested in is important. These sites that contain the documentation should also give you API syntax to put in your code, essentially the address of the data. Being familiar with web status codes will also be helpful in any language that you use to access an API because you will get these HTTP responses back when you run your script. We're now going to look at programming scripts to access APIs in three languages. Director of Informatics, Tyler Pearson, will talk about a few of his favorite tutorials for Python. I'm Tyler Pearson, Director of Informatics at OU Libraries. The request library is useful for working with web service APIs in Python. I also recommend this data quest tutorial for working with web service APIs in Python. Thanks so much, Tyler. Now, Tara Carlisle, Head of Digital Scholarship, will tell us about the tutorial she wrote for using Bash. Hi, I'm Tara Carlisle, Head of Digital Scholarship at OU Libraries. I wanted to share this tutorial I made on using the terminal or command line to access APIs. Thanks so much, Tara. Finally, the programming language R can be used with APIs too. Here are a few links that I've found particularly helpful when learning to use APIs. We're going to wrap up our series on accessing data via code with a live Q&A on Twitter on July 30th. It'll be from 2 to 3.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. If you don't have Twitter, you can email us your questions as well at cmcurry at ou.edu. No registration is required, but you can read more about this event at libraries.ou.edu slash events. We're also going to have a wrap-up Q&A for the whole summer series on August 7th. Go ahead and go to libraries.ou.edu slash events to read more and register. You can view past videos in this series at bit.ly slash OUSTEMYT. Please email me with any questions or comments that you have. Thanks for joining us and stay safe out there.